everyone, in today's video, I just wanted to give a quick check-in on how this semester is going. This is the spring 2022 semester, and I'm taking data and visual analytics. I normally would film a semester preview video prior to the semester starting, but I was pretty busy this summer starting a new job and moving to a new city, so I just never got around to it. To give some context for what this semester has been looking like so far, um, when I was enrolling, I decided between data and visual analytics and Bayesian statistics. I decided against the Bayesian statistics course because I just don't really feel the need to strengthen my probability and stats to that level since at this point, I'm nine of 10 classes, so pretty far in the program. And I realized that I don't actually want to work as a data scientist or an ML engineer that needs to understand the minutia of how the algorithms behind machine learning works. I think I want to be a software engineer that has some machine learning background. So I don't feel the need to actually think about the math behind these algorithms and models that much. And I think data and visual analytics gives me a broader view of more practical tools and skills. With that being said, I also was drawn to the class because I thought it'd be easier. Um, it plays into my strengths a little bit more, having you know, industry knowledge and use some of these tools like SQL, I code in Python regularly for work, I'm familiar with Flask, and I used to be a JavaScript full stack developer. So I'm not gonna lie, I, I definitely thought it was gonna be easier. Thus far, we are in week 10 of 16, so over 60% of the way, and I've kind of changed the ways I approach the course. I started off watching the lectures, but after week two, I pretty quickly gave up on that. And now, basically, my participation in the course is limited to graded assignments and now the project. There are four homeworks for the class, and I've completed three of them, and there's also a group project that is due at the end of the class, and thus far, we haven't really done much other than the group project proposal where you like propose your idea for the group project. For the homeworks, I will say that they are generally more time consuming than I thought, but they're not really that difficult. They're just time consuming. I'll actually go into more detail for each homework when I finish the course and make a course review video. But one of the ways that they are more time consuming is that they limit the number of imports you use, or I shouldn't say the number of, like they specify which libraries can be imported and you're not allowed to import anything else. So lots of times the way that you're used to doing something is not how you have to do it for the assignment. So it takes some time to read documentation to figure out how they want you to do it. I know a big hurdle for this course is the D3JS assignment, which is the second assignment. And I agree that it is difficult. Like that is an assignment that I chose to settle for an 80 something for. I think I got like an 82. Once I got to a 75, 80 range, I was pretty happy with it. And you can kind of, I don't want to say game the system, but uh, when you submit to Gradescope, they do tell you what points are missing. So you can kind of specifically just try and get points in areas that you think are the easiest. So that's what I did. Uh, the third assignment so far was a prime example of how this course covers a lot of technologies, but somewhat superficially. So for the third assignment, we did uh, Spark, we were using PySpark and Spark Scala and GCP, Azure, AWS, so we were all over the place. It's a prime example of how this course really seeks to be breadth but not depth. So I, I, I don't mind it. I actually think it was pretty interesting, but I definitely wouldn't feel confident putting any of these technologies down on my resume. For the group project, I can't really speak too much on it. So thus far, we've only done the project proposal, and that's actually been the only time we've all met synchronously, so one time. As you would imagine, I would say my group is not like particularly responsive and we don't meet regularly, and I just don't really have the energy to like kind of be a PM for it. And so far it's been working out. When I do the full course review, I will kind of give my thoughts on it more, but so far things have been working out even though we haven't really been meeting regularly. But coming into this last part of the semester, a bigger focus will be on the actual group project. So I'll cover that more in more detail when we actually finish the course and I do the course review, but just wanted to give you guys a quick check-in on what the semester has been so far. Mm -hmm. 